Hey, what's up guys? I'm Chris, this is BS for Build. Today I'm gonna be rebuilding uh, what uh, a front bumper, some people call it a crash guard, some people call it a crash bumper. Um, basically, it's one of these. Uh, this is what was left of my BRZ one. It's a, some people call it an impact bar actually. So what it is is it just sits uh, on your frame rails in front of your car, helps guard things like the radiator, uh, the core support, and eventually your engine. It's meant to be strong, but not too strong. So you don't just jam straight into your frame and have the car take all the impact. This is an impact bar. It's meant to crumple and, uh, and absorb a lot of the impact for front end damage. So I'm gonna be doing a quick DIY on the cheap, how to rebuild one of those for your car. Um, I'm gonna be using this. I'm gonna be using the feet off of this. To the other end, you can see it a little bit better. I'm gonna be grinding the feet off of these to match up with down here and I'll walk you through the whole process of creating your own. One of the biggest issues I found when trying to create an impact bar for my car was I couldn't find metal at the hardware store that matched up for this footprint very easily. So I'm repurposing the feet off of my mangled one. I'm going to be grinding them off and flattening them down so I know that they're going to match up on all these holes correctly and then I'll weld bars in the middle to support it. one it's two all right I got my two uh, little feet tees here that uh, land up on the car here they're still pretty bent up so I'm just gonna go ahead and hammer them, uh, hammer them flat using the pavement as kind of my backstop. It's flat enough. And then uh, I'll clean them up and get them ready to weld pipe into them. Yikes. Kind of destroyed my driveway. Oh well. I got both my things pretty straight. Um, kind of screwed up my driveway, so if you're doing this at home, uh, get a piece of steel or something to put under it. I just didn't have anything, and it's too hot to care about it, so it's not my driveway anyways. Um, so I'm gonna go back over these uh, footprints with the angle grinder a little bit and just cut off some of the uh, leftover pieces. And then I'm gonna grab out the cutting saw and start cutting our pieces of pipe to build our bumper with. All right, we're able to get a little of that excess metal out of there. Uh, time to go get the chop saw and get the pipe ready. All right, I got my feet prepared. So I'm gonna go measure the front of the car to see the width of the main pipe that I'm gonna do and I'm gonna cut that one. What I'm gonna do next may look a little ridiculous, but I'm gonna grab duct tape and I'm going to lightly screw these into the frame and then duct tape that bar onto there so I can test fit the bumper. If I had two sets of hands, Jeff, um, I could just have somebody hold it and throw the bumper on, but um, you know what they say, like measure twice, cut once, something like that, measure twice, weld once. So yeah, I'm just gonna use some duct tape so I can test fit these things. All right, well, as you can see, this bumper, it's 
sticking out ridiculous so far. So I'm gonna cut the ends a little bit, trim it down, and then I'm gonna mark where, how far into this I wanna cut, which I'm probably gonna wanna cut into this far, setting this pipe in like that much. All right, grab the old paint marker, marked up where I gotta cut off on both sides. So as I'm working on this bumper, I noticed some really creepy ass weird bug infestation. They're all over this electrical stuff. So, got some bug spray. Get rid of these fucking bugs. Probably not great for the electrics, but oh well. Anyway, so you can see, we got this going on. I'm just gonna hammer these down. I went and got a rubber mallet. I'm gonna hammer these in. And then, I don't know, test fit the bumper again. Bumper cover. All right, well, as you can see, some things are progressing. Um, we're getting to a place where it's gonna be ready to tack weld this in. But I'm losing daylight, I can't really film in this light, so I'm gonna pause for today. And I'll come back tomorrow and finish this project off. Hey everybody, back for day two. We're gonna get started where we left off. Spot welding the bumper, and then we're gonna pull it back off and finish welding it. Got it all welded up, got it uh, grinded up a little bit. I don't really care about making it too clean. Um, so now I'm just gonna cover it with a coat of paint. Bumper's on, uh, went pretty well. 
I do have to say though, in the beginning of this video, I said it was a DIY and I'd show you guys how to do this. In retrospective, don't do this on your own. Definitely go buy the OEM bumper. I looked online, this one was $170 to buy a brand new one from the factory. Making your own is just, I think in the long run, too risky. Uh, any welds are not solid or the pipe geometry is off or you got one weird angle. And as soon as you hit anything, this thing's just gonna slant one way or the easiest way with least resistance and it'll be almost useless or maybe possibly worse than having nothing at all. So I would say if you're doing this at home, jump on eBay, find an OEM one. This one was $170 shipped. Um, I'm gonna use this because I'm just gonna track this car and as soon as I drift it into a gutter or something, then you know, I'll replace it and I'll probably replace it with the OEM one. Um, so this is fun to build and it came out great and it holds my weight, um, about 200 pounds can hold on it. And uh, you know, it'll be, it's gonna work for what I'm doing, but um, if you're doing this at home, I'd say definitely just go buy the OEM one and bolt it on, save yourself a lot of time. With that, that's the end of this episode. Um, check in soon, we're gonna be mounting up the radiator, the AC condenser, uh, bumper, bumper cover, bumper support, and a um, bunch of other great stuff. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Peace.